This is what this soil does. It goes from dust to just muck. One rain storm. I'm sinking up to my, all my ankles in here. This is just ridiculous. But, uh, so we just got a lot of rain in here. This field right here I planted before I went on vacation. It's been uh, probably four or five days. And uh, the uh, soybeans came up a little bit. Uh, they were popping up. Kind of see a little bit of a green. There's a real wet spot right through there. It runs past that tree. That popped up with soybeans a little bit. And then uh, deer came in and just, it just mowed down whatever popped up. Um, let's see if they got anything at all here. A little bit of standing water now. Corn, you can see how how bad that stuff was was hurting. It was in really really bad shape. Now with this little bit of rain, you know, I've got this going on. <laughs> Everything is you know, falling over. But uh, so this corn is really really hurting. It was burnt. It's already tasseled out. Yeah, I've still got stuff to eat. Hang on this stuff. Look at that. That's crazy. I don't know what is eating this stuff. I haven't found a bug yet. This is deer coming in eating on this. You see stuff like that, boy. It just took a chunk right out of the middle of it. Whatever it is, is eating and hanging on this thing. When I look around, I don't see any caterpillar, locust, or whatever. Now this rain's come in, I'll probably have a lot of, a lot of blow down. And, uh, nothing I can do about that. Yeah, this is all experimental, never grown this stuff before. And we've got a farmer's auction coming up this weekend. I'm gonna go see if I might be able to pick up a cheap two-row planter that they've got. It's an older one, but I think I can make it for it. So, when the corn came up, it just, uh, boy, it's had the worst of all worlds. Just got, yeah, it just got uh, dry and now it's just soaking wet. We'll have rain for several days, so we'll see how it, uh, if any of this survives at all. But uh, I don't think I'm going to get anything out of this stuff. This stuff here is tasseled out. I mean, it's so punky, it's not even four feet tall. And, uh, you can see the burn, and I'm not alone with this, all the farmers around the area. Uh, corn looks the exact same way. So, this year for corn prices, <clears throat> we'll probably look at another 13, 14 bucks a bag when it comes time for deer season. This is really a lot of blight up in there. It's got got burned. It'll get a drink now, so we'll see what happens. One day at a time.